Hi guys, welcome to Philo Collective Yoga. My name is Lo, we're about to do a 45 minute flow. I have my mat side to side today, uh, but feel free to unroll your mat in whatever way works for the area you're doing yoga in. As always, feel free to modify anything that doesn't work for you. Um, yoga should be a healing form of movement and stretching. Please listen to your body and if you're in any pain at all, back out of the pose, come to a standing position, maybe even down to child's pose, but just really relax your body um, and don't push through pain. That being said, um, also check in with your body and uh, be aware if you need to bump something up, add a challenge, or even just take something out. So let's get started. Thanks for joining. We're actually gonna start in a seated position today. So I'm going sideways on my mat doesn't really matter. Find a comfortable seat. I'm taking crisscross applesauce. You can be in a kneeling position. You could extend your legs out in front of you. I encourage you to close your eyes as you settle in. Take note of your palms, whether you naturally put your palms facing down or maybe you naturally lifted them up. Maybe even hands to heart center is a good place for you to start today. It's a nice way to find connection between your fingertips between your wrists. Whatever you're choosing, just really breathe into the space. Really feel your neck, your spine lengthen, feel your sit bones press down. Maybe roll out your shoulders a few times or even take a slow rotation of your neck, adding some simple movement into your body. And when you've moved as much as you need to, then find stillness. Again, sitting up tall, eyes are still closed. Trying to fight the urge to fidget. Get comfortable with the discomfort of stillness. And rather than trying to find an escape out of being still, Try to find a comfort, an extra little bit of space to breathe, maybe even to pause the rat race, the to-do list. Relax your forehead, your jaw, your throat. Release tension in the back of your neck as you sit up a little bit taller. And then take a giant breath in through your nose. Good, and a big open mouth exhale. <sighs> Cleansing breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale, open mouth. <sighs> Another round, inhale, nice and tall. And big exhale. Blink your eyes open, inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center, pull them right to the center of your chest. Inhale, fingertips extend up. Exhale, hands to heart, nice deep pull, shoulders down, tummy in, take another round. Inhale up, exhale, hands to heart. Good, one more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, drop your right hand to the floor, to your hip. Take the left arm up and over for a nice big side body stretch and keep pressing down through your left sit bone to feel more in length. Another breath in. Shoulders are stacked, breathe out. Good, inhale through center, nice and tall. Maybe fingertips connect. Exhale over to the left side. Left palm down, right arm reaches up. Right hip pushes down. Breathe in and breathe out. Full breath, long neck, inhale and exhale. Inhale through center again, maybe palms touch. Exhale over to the right side one more time. Inhale through center, little connection. Exhale to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, open your arms nice and big. We're gonna take seated cat cow. So as you inhale, lift your gaze, open your heart. 
As you exhale, contract your tummy, bring your arms forward. Inhale, arch, open your heart, lift your gaze, open your arms. Exhale, contract, push the air out. Three more times, inhale, cow, open. Exhale, cat, close the arms, contract, good. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more time, cow. And cat. Find your neutral spine, breathe in. And exhale to your tabletop, off to the right. Tops of your toes are down. Fingertips spread super wide, tummy is in even now. Gaze is right over the top of your fingertips or maybe the tip of your mat. Take a breath in and take a breath out. Now tuck your toes under on your next inhale. Just begin to hover your knees. Tummy is tight. You're pulling your knees toward your hands, your hands toward your knees, even though there's no movement. Breathe in. Good. Breathe out. For two more. Fill up. Empty away. Awesome. Last time in. Hips high, downward facing dog. You can take a little movement here. Maybe shift your hips side to side. Pedal through your knees, your ankles. Always extending your heels back. Your hip crease is high. Your chest falls down. Head is long and heavy. Breathe in together. And breathe out together. Inhale, hinge into your high plank and exhale to stay. Take another breath in. Exhale, downward dog, pike your hips high. Inhale to stay. Exhale to your plank, hinge forward. Stay on your breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Good, again, breathe in. High plank. Breathe in, downward dog. Going one more time, breathe in, high plank. This time, inhale, hinge forward, tiptoes. Exhale, lower to your knees, but you're bending your elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath here. Those are your vinyasa flows. You can take them or leave them. Doesn't matter. You can stay in your plank, lower to your knees or your tabletop. Breathe in together and out. Inhale your right leg high back behind you. Exhale to your warrior one. Step your right foot between your hands. Left heel goes down and you're reaching all the way up into your first warrior. Hips, rib cage and shoulders all frame the short edge of your mat. Hands to heart, maybe cactus them out or lift it overhead. Pretend like you're holding a beach ball over the head. Pinky fingers come in. Arms are electrified. Your back heel is pushing down so your left glute is super engaged on this backside. Breathing in and breathing out. Take another inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Staying here for a few rounds of breath. Front knee is open toward your pinky toe. Back foot is still turned in. Pinky fingers spread just slightly behind you, squeezing your arm muscles to their bones. Breathe in, breathe out. Take another inhale, empty away. Inhale, reverse, right arm pulls back up and over your head. Exhale, hands to the mat plank, vinyasa flow or downward facing dog. Take a breath in together and a breath out. We're going to add on. Send your right leg high again. It's the right leg up. Warrior one. Right foot steps through. Back heel down. Inhale. Good. And exhale. Adding movement. Inhale. Straighten your front leg. Exhale. Bend into your warrior one. Inhale. Rise. Try to keep your hips in line. Exhale. Sink. Two more times. Inhale. Tall. Exhale, warrior one. One more time, nice and tall. Warrior one, legs, bring your arms to your low back. Pulling your knuckles back behind you. Maybe your hands are interlaced. 
maybe your hands are to your yogi back pockets, but you're broadening through your shoulders, maybe lifting your heart, your gaze, breathe in. Humble warrior, your chest leads you forward, dropping your right shoulder to the edge of your right knee, pulling your left hip forward slightly, let your head fall down. We're here for two more breaths, in and out. Great work, breathe in and empty. Push down to rise up, warrior one, nice and slow. Warrior two to open, staying here for a full breath in and out. Adding movement, inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, warrior two. Just the leg is working, inhale, rise. Warrior two, exhale. Two more times, lift up nice and tall. Warrior two, once more. Press down into the lunge, tick tock your body into your extended side angle. So you're keeping your shoulders down, neck long. We're here for two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful, fill up and empty. Keep the legs low, inhale, reverse, right arm pulls back. Exhale, hands to the mat, plank vinyasa, tabletop or downward dog. Take a breath in, open mouth, exhale, adding on, send your right leg high, warrior one. Inhale to rise up, stay as you exhale. Straighten your front leg, breathe in. Exhale, humble warrior, bend into your front knee, arms behind your back, tilting forward. We're here for two more rounds of breath, in and out. Good. Fill up and empty. Inhale, warrior one, take your time, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Adding movement, straighten your front leg. Bend into it, extended side angle. Three breaths in and away. Good for two to breathe out. Full breath and empty. Keep the legs low, inhale, reverse. Balancing half moon, you're shifting all your weight into your right foot. Left toes start at a hover, and then as you're comfortable coming into your full, balancing half moon, right hand can be on the floor on a block on your right shin. It can hover, you're flexing super hard into your left heel. Breathe in, breathe it out. Good, one more. Forward fold, top of your mat, or right side, I should say. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Do that again, halfway lift. Forward fold. One more time, halfway lift, shoulders back. Plank vinyasa, downward facing dog. However you need to get there. It's your flow, your practice. Take a breath in and a breath out. Again on the right leg goes up. Warrior one, these are all familiar. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to stay. Straighten your front leg, arms come to your low back. Humble warrior, heart forward for a full breath, that's it. Open mouth, exhale. Warrior one, rise up. Warrior two, open. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, extended side angle. For a breath in and a breath out. Good, inhale, reverse. Balancing half moon yet again. Three breaths here. Hovering, maybe fully extending the left leg. Take an inhale and an exhale. One more round, fill. Warrior two, step the left foot softly back. Inhale, reverse. Warrior two, star pose, reach up, make a huge X in your body. Exhale, sink to your horse. Toes are open, knees are open. You're letting your sacrum, your tailbone tuck down. Tummy and ribcage are in, shoulders down. And you're in this nice, wide, deep squat, breathing, of course. 
exhaling, of course. Please don't pass out, breathe in. You're doing awesome, breathe away. Two more times, fill up and empty. Great work, inhale and exhale. Star pose, get nice and big and tall. Low lunge to the left side. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg high. Downward facing dog. Take an inhale, shift into your high plank. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, lower halfway. Upward facing and downward facing. Here we go, left side, left leg inhales high. Warrior one. We're here for a few rounds of breath. It's our first warrior one on the left side. Make any adjustments you need in the feet, in the arms. Everything is square to the short edge of your mat. Really pushing down through your right heel. Really pressing forward. Lifting up through your tummy, your rib cage, your heart. Breathing, of course. Exhaling. Good, another breath in. And empty. Take one more breath in. Warrior two, hanging out here for a few moments. And again, find adjustments. Sometimes we need to bring a foot forward or back. Sometimes you need to check out your chest to make sure it's framing the long edge of the mat. Fingertips are really spreading, arms are squeezing. Check out your front knee that it's not turned in. It's open nice and wide. Two more rounds of breath in and out. Full breath here to exhale. Inhale, reverse left arm pulls back this time. Exhale, hands to the mat. Now we're on the other end. Plank vinyasa, downward facing dog. Flow or no, whatever you need. Take an inhale together and an exhale. Send your left leg high again. Warrior one. Inhale to rise up and exhale to stay. Adding on. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, warrior one. Floating through this a few more times. Inhale to rise. Exhale to sink. Two more. Inhale tall. Warrior one legs. Full breath up and down. Now pull your arms back behind you. Have your yogi back pockets or the interlace of your hands. Take an inhale. Humble warrior chest forward. Dropping down left shoulder to your left thigh. Pull your right hip forward. Let your head hang down. You can keep your fingertips lifted. You can rest them on your low back. Breathing in together and out. Good, again, fill up and empty. Once more, breathe away. Good, inhale, reach up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Adding the movement, straighten your left leg, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Nice and tall, lift up and press deep into your warrior legs. Good, inhale, straighten. Exhale, press. One more time, straighten. Exhale, press into your warrior two legs. Transition into your extended side angle. We're here for a few rounds of breath. Open the heart. Keep pressing your left knee open. Spine is long, breathe in. And breathe out. Good, full breath to empty. Inhale, reverse, pull back. Balancing half moon. This time on the left side, left foot is grounded, right toes come up to a hover, maybe to a full extension, left fingertips to the floor, to your shin, to a hover, neck is long, you're breathing, looking good, inhale, and exhale, one more time, in breath, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, shoulders back, tummy in, exhale, fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Once more, halfway lift. Plank vinyasa, down dog. A 
breath in and out. Send your left leg high, warrior one. Inhale to reach up, stay as you exhale. Straighten your front leg, interlace your hands. Exhale, humble warrior, heart forward. Staying for a breath and out. Good, one more in and exhale. Warrior one, rise up. Warrior two, open up. Straighten your left leg. Extended side angle, bend into the left knee. Open your heart, three breaths in and out. Really stretch through the top fingers. Press down into your left heel, your left big toe. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, reverse, left arm pulls back. Balancing half moon. Weight into your left foot, right toes lift. You're doing great, breathe in and out. Two more full rounds in to exhale. Round three in and empty. Just one more inhale to get bigger. Warrior two, softly step your right foot down. Inhale, reverse. Warrior two, star pose, lift up and open. Sink down to your horse. Staying here, breathing in and out. Adding movement, inhale, star pose, nice and big. Exhale, horse, nice and deep. You've got it, inhale, star. Exhale, horse, star, horse. One more time, star. Low lunge to the right. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg high. Downward facing. Take a breath in and out. Adding just a bit more, send your right leg high. Warrior one. Inhale, rise up. Stay as you exhale. Straighten your front leg, interlace your hands. Exhale, humble warrior, right knee bends, heart forwards for a full breath in and away. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Extended side angle, bend into the front leg for a full breath. Empty out. Inhale, reverse. Balancing half moon, it is our last time on this right side. Three breaths in and out. Simple breath, tricky pose, inhale and exhale. Final round, in and out. Just an inhale to extend. Warrior two, step back. Inhale, reverse. Warrior two. Star pose, reach up. This time, Skandasana to the left. Coming down into a low side lunge. Our left knee is bent, our right leg is straight. So this, up tall, could be your Skandasana. Maybe you're all the way down. Perhaps your right toes lift up. Maybe your hands are on the floor to heart center. Perhaps you're opening your knee, but you want the left knee stacked over the left toes. So if toes are out, knees out, toes are forward, knee is forward. Taking an inhale and an exhale. Great work, you guys. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time, breath to exhale. Now star pose, reach all the way back up. Woo, warrior two to the left. Inhale, reverse. Hands to the mat, plank vinyasa, downward facing dog. Hopefully you felt your hips open. <laughs> Sometimes a bit more than we want. Breathe in and breathe out. Send your left leg high. Warrior one. Inhale to reach up. Stay as you exhale. Straighten your front leg, interlace your hands. Exhale, humble warrior. Left knee bends, heart forward, head down for a breath. And an empty. Warrior one. 
Warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Extended side angle. Full breath here. Easy release. Inhale, reverse. Balancing half moon last time on the left side. Breathe in and out. Two more, fill to release. This is a full breath in. Stay for your out. Inhale to lengthen. Warrior two, soft step back. Good, inhale, reverse. Warrior two, star pose. Skandasana to the right. Right knee is bent again. You can stay high, you can go low. The right heel can come up, left toes can come up again. It's really your option, catching your breath. Try and keep your heart open, relax your shoulders, your neck, your jaw, your forehead. We don't need more wrinkles. Breathe in and out. Good, two more times. Maybe even smile. It's just yoga. Your next inhale reaches up to start. Push down into your feet, reach up. Good, warrior two to the right. Inhale, reverse. Plank vinyasa, downward facing dog. You're doing awesome. Keep with it, you guys. Down dog. Take an inhale and an exhale. Right leg goes high. Warrior one. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Star pose. Sink to your horse. We're not here super long. Maybe you shift side to side this time. Maybe you need to go super low. Maybe you need to stay up a little bit. Breathing in. Shoulders down. Knees open for a full breath. And empty. Last time, fill up. And away. Star pose, burst open. Prasarita, toes in, heart forward. In a super wide leg forward fold. So you've got options, hands, forearms, head to the floor, maybe fingertips. Walk out in front of you to your ankles or even back behind you. I really want you to notice your shoulders here. Keep your neck super long. Extend up through your tailbone, but pull your shoulders away from your ears. You've got three more breaths. Good for two. Full breath here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge to the left side. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg goes high. Warrior one. Inhale, rise up. Warrior two. Star pose. Hands to heart, feet to touch. Just step your feet in. Hands to heart, close your eyes for a moment. Catch your breath. Feel both feet pressed firmly into the ground. Make sure that your feet aren't rolling out to your pinkies or not rolling in to your big toes. Everything is flat. Inner thighs zip up. Tummy is nice and tight, shoulders down. Inhale something you're thankful for. And breathe that out with gratitude. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Blink your eyes open, reach up, Tadasana. Hands to heart, one-legged Tadasana, right knee is coming high, flexing into your toes, pulling your shoulders down, lifting your knee up like it's coming straight to the center of your chest. Taking an inhale and an exhale. Now you can choose to stay here, We're gonna, or we're gonna take the right knee to the side, so maybe you're holding on to the knee, to the shin, to the heel. Maybe you're taking your first and middle finger, hooking your toe and extending it off to the side. Left hand can be on your hip, out to the side, even straight up overhead. We're here for three breaths. 
You're gonna always drop your toes to the floor. I really encourage you to open your heart. Relax your shoulders for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, lift the knee, hands to heart. Stay as you exhale. Get a little bit taller, breathe in. Tree on the right. Your tree can be short, medium, nice and high. Do not push your foot directly onto your left kneecap. Just wanna make sure that we're not injuring the knee. Squeeze your right glute so that you can lift up out of the hips. Right knee can open. Hands to heart is a great place to start, maybe to stay, or maybe you need to grow your arms into a different position. Neck is long, maybe your gaze lifts, maybe you close your eyes. Pushing down into your left heel, into your left big toe. Two more rounds of breath. Full in. Steady out. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, lift the knee a little taller. Exhale, foot to the floor, shake it out. Maybe pedal through your knees, roll out your ankles. And then we get to do the whole thing on the left side. So start with your hands to heart center. Feel both heels push down. Spread your toes wide, press them into the floor. Take an inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, your arms extend overhead. Hands to heart, left knee comes high for your one-legged Tadasana. We're staying here for a few rounds of breath. Feeling the lift through the quad, but also through the inner thigh. Everything is squeezing in to lift up. Staying here. We're taking the knee wide again. Grabbing hold of the knee, the ankle, the heel. Peace finger first and middle. Maybe taking the toes. Extending them now. Try to stay nice and tall on the right side, even though you do have to shift slightly. Hand out, up to your hip. Three more breaths in, and out. Stay for two. Breathe empty. Awesome, breath in. Exhale, slowly come back to your one-legged Tadasana and start. Tree on the left. Whatever position you need your leg, squeeze both glutes, but especially your left glute so that you can open your knee. Lifting up through your rib cage, grow your branches if you like. Hands to heart is always a really great option. Maybe lift your gaze, close your eyes, definitely breathe, maybe smile. Three more times. Full breath in and out. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, left knee high. Exhale, foot to the floor. Shake out the ankle, the toes, and then bring your feet wide, about the width of your mat. Inhale, your arms tall. Exhale, sink to your Malasana. So this could be Malasana, or maybe you're going a full seat all the way down. You can always sit on a block if you've got one or even a, a nice thick blanket or pillow. But you want to push your elbows into your knees, your knees into your elbows, so that that action allows you to sit up tall through your heart and really drop your tailbone heavy. Maybe staying here. You can always come into crow, planting your hands down in front of you, shifting your weight forward. Maybe you close your eyes. You've got two more rounds of breath. Easy breath through a tricky pose. Find stillness. Try not to fidget. Exhale together. Inhale to dasana. Push down into your heels. Reach all the way up. Feet together. Forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Pull your shoulders back. Exhale, have a seat on the floor. So taking our legs out to a wide V. So you might want to place your hands behind you and just lift your hips. Feel your sit bones press down. Open through your heart. So maybe your hands are on your shins, opening up through your inner thighs. 
hands to heart or maybe even up overhead, but really push down through your sit bones, lift up through your fingertips, and then exhale, slowly start to hinge forward, leading with your heart, not your forehead. When you can't go any further from the waist, then you can start just gently letting your spine come forward, maybe dropping your chin to your chest, keeping your shoulders away from your ears, keeping your toes up toward the ceiling. We'll be here for a few more breaths, so maybe try to walk yourself even a half inch forward, using your exhales to soften, using your inhales to find length, finding a little bit more depth. Two more rounds of breath in and out. Good, full round. And exhale. Your next inhale, walk yourself nice and tall back to center and pull your left shin in. Adjust so that you feel both sit bones press down. Right foot flexes up, inhale your arms nice and tall. And then exhale, drop your right arm to the inside of your right leg, reaching your left arm up and over. So you're welcome to stay here. You just want your shoulders stacked. Maybe you can reach up and over, perhaps even finding your right toes. You should still be able to look under your arm. Maybe this is where you are. You're taking two more breaths, no matter what your pose looks like. Full breath in. And out. Inhale, reach up, both arms extend high. Left hand down behind your left hip and then push your hips forward. Heart lifts up, head in your right arm, arm reach behind you for your gate pose, breathing in and out. One more reach, breathe in and lower your hips down. Take a moment to switch out sides. Right shin comes in, left leg extends, sit bones down, left foot flexes. Inhale, your arms nice and tall. Exhale, left arm on the inside of your left leg. Again, this could be nice and deep. Maybe you're nice and tall. Perhaps you're able to find your toes overhead. All options are valid. You need to breathe and you need to be confident in yourself because you're amazing. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time, fill up and empty. Inhale, reach up through center. Right hand behind your right hip, gate pose, hips forward, heart high, head and hand back. Extending as you inhale, staying as you exhale. One more time, breathe in and let your hips swing down. Turn yourself to the side, you're long on your mat, and then roll your spine down, planting your feet into the mat. Arms are long by your hips. We're going to take three rounds of bridge or wheel pose. Bridge, your arms are long by your hips. Wheel is your back bend, so your hands come by your ears. Make sure your neck is long and tuck your tailbone under so you feel your low back connect to the mat. Take an inhale and an exhale. Here we go. Round one, push into your heels, lift your hips, squeezing your glutes and your inner thighs, but also thinking of lifting up through your rib cage, shoulders are relaxed, gazes up, breathe in, breathe out, another breath in, and slowly roll your spine down one vertebra at a time. When you get to the bottom windshield, wipe your knees side to side if that feels good. Return to center for round two. You can do the same thing or you can add on. Inhale to rise up. You can interlace your hands under your low back maybe even send one leg up to the ceiling at a time. Breathing always, switching out feet if you have one up, inhaling and exhaling. Our last breath in here and slowly roll down one more time when chilled side to side. And then our last round of bridge or wheel, we're taking three breaths Find your starting pose, and on your next inhale, push up, bridge your wheel, deep inhales, 
open mouth exhales for two more in and out good fill up and gently release down pull both knees into your chest give yourself a nice squeeze maybe a rock and then let both feet fall to the ground extend your right leg high cross it over your left knee and finding your supine pigeon or supine pigeon or your figure four keeping your right knee open just like we did in our standing pose flexing both feet you can stay here you can reach behind your left knee or even over top of your left shin if you like relax your shoulders your neck everything is low to the floor breathe in and out good one more round drop your left foot to the floor and then let your hips fall over to the left side so maybe you keep your right leg crossed maybe you just stack it on top of your left your hips are stacked and lifted but your shoulders are on the floor gaze is up or maybe over your right shoulder as you close your eyes for two more rounds of breath inhale back to center do what you need to do to do to shake out your legs rock side to side take happy baby maybe even legs up the wall feel your low back reconnect loosen up and then right foot drops down left ankle crosses over pause for a moment feel your left knee open stay here or lift the right shin up toward the ceiling again this is a perfect place to stay unless you need to add on then reach behind your right knee or over top of your right shin pull your shoulders down neck extends and relaxes two more breaths drop your right foot to the floor and then take your supine twist left hip is on top both shoulders to the floor head is either straight up or over your left shoulder breathe as you close your eyes relax into the twist slowly inhale head back to center spine back to center take any final moves poses stretches inversions that you need just to feel your spine find a neutral position and then coming into your final savasana a few moments of a quiet relaxation maybe feet are pressed into the floor maybe they're into each other knees are open maybe your whole body is nice and long Notice where your hands naturally fell. Maybe they're up this time. Maybe they're planted down into the floor to your tummy or your heart. Again, all options are valid. Just taking note of where we are today, what we need. We'll be here for a few rounds of breath. Try to intentionally soften your body to the mat. Relax your forehead, your jaw, your throat. Let go of tension in your hips, your shoulders, your tummy, fingers and toes.
as always, you're welcome to stay in this savasana as long as your body needs, as long as you have the time and space. If you are ready to move on, add some small movement through your toes, your fingers, your wrists, your ankles, maybe rock your head side to side. Maybe take a long full body stretch. And then taking your time, about three or four breaths, make your way into a seated position. Really isn't a hurry. Keeping your eyes closed, finding a comfortable seat to finish your practice today. Grounding down through your sit bones. Sit up so tall and proud. Take an inhale through your nose. An open mouth exhale. Again, slow breath in. Big breath empties. And again, inhale. Exhale. Namaste.